All right, guys. So I'm gonna pop on here really quick with a disclaimer about not doing this. I will talk about this during the vlog, but I wanna make it more abundantly clear. I am not a professional. I am not going to be chasing the tail end of a tornado. If you want a pure storm chasing vlog, you can go find one of those people because they are the trained professionals. They are smart. They have spent years, years learning this stuff and experiencing it hands-on. I am not there yet. I am someone who has a degree in film and I am currently a meteorology student. I am still learning. That is why this vlog, my vlogs are never going to be a specific chase a tornado type of vlog. It's more like a docu-series of a weather event. That is what you get with my videos, all right? And the reason why is because I know enough to know that I don't know enough and that I am not a professional. So I'm not gonna get as close as some of those people, but it's still gonna be super fun. But even what I'm doing, don't even do what I do if you have not been learning about it or done something with it. All right, you guys, just be weather aware, be safe. And if you're interested in this type of stuff, do what I've done. Go out with the professionals and learn, be hands-on, go to school for it. It's fascinating. All of this stuff is amazing and I love it. And I hope you get to experience it too, but be safe about it, be smart. All right, bye guys. Hey, um strong storm uh, getting ready to move through there with a, a tornado in it. A little bit in front of you and you see in that uh, you see in a wall cloud um, however it's huge down right now. This way is normal. Yeah, hell and then you have multiple foggy tornado flies. Beautiful day. <laughs> so that's the tornado chaser guy. Look he's rushing somewhere. As long as he's not rushing away from some terrifying tornado, we're good. Uh, Grayson, buddy, I think we should have stayed in Athens. It's a mess. <laughs> it is absolutely 100% exact. Oh, 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 there we go. <laughs> there we go. What is the radar doing? It's coming to us. Good morning, friends. Okay, so I did not get a lot of sleep last night. That's okay. Right now I am charging everything that I have that's important to me. All my cameras, portable chargers, so many extra batteries, everything. Because I'm gonna go out there and chase some storms today. I'm gonna go, we are in Texas. Texas, like even Houston, we have a, um, a level two tornado threat this evening, um, which is, which is kind of crazy because uh, we just don't get them that much. This this year has been real, real mild for us, which is good, but there's a level three, more um, east, northeast Texas. And so my kids don't have school today. Today is a school holiday here because um, it's the end of a grading period. So my son's going with me. He's gonna help me navigate. Don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna pretend like, like I, I am only in, I have, I'm only at the end of step one of a two year process to get my, um, my little meteorology forecasting thing from Penn State. So like, I know I'm not there yet, but what I'm gonna do is I, I, I know enough now I can, I can, because my the thing I'm getting, it's not just like meteorology or like in a generalized thing. Mine is specifically for forecasting. We are learning to forecast, right? And so I'm going to use what I've been learning. <laughs> But uh, I don't 100% trust myself yet. I'm not there, but so, but I can trust the experts and we are going to stay on the outside. So I probably like, we're not gonna like go where we're gonna actually see a tornado today. That's not really my plan. A little bit in front of you and you see in that, uh, you see in a wall cloud. Um, however, oh, I can't see it. Right there's debris. We're pulling in here. Up, I can't see anything and there is, there is anything holy crap. So just telling you guys that up front um, because I'm not, as a, the worst thing you can do is be like a novice or just a like looky-loo and get yourself in trouble or block the path of other people. Those people are obnoxious. They're not safe. It's not okay. If the one thing I've learned when I was doing the chasing earlier this year was that those people are just like, they're just, it's a problem, right? I don't want to be those people. Like that's embarrassing. It's not smart. So I'm just going to go, we are going to go Plus like I have my kid with me, right? Although that doesn't really worry me. I know a lot of you out there like freak out all the times, but that's you, like I get it. Like everybody has different things that worry them. There are some areas where I'm probably like, I worry too much. 
This is not one of them because we're gonna stay on the outskirts. We're gonna go try to see the system. We're gonna go try to see some cool cloud development. Some, um, maybe we'll see some supercells. It's a mesocycling. <laughs> it is absolutely 100% is that. I'm not sure. So that's what, that's the thing because um, the isolated supercells that could pop up are the ones that could spawn tornadoes. So I'm not, I'm just not sure what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna play it by ear. I'm gonna see what I feel safe doing. What's going on today is that there is a, we have a, you know, a pretty extensive like cold front coming in. And then we have a warm front that's been coming in from the south, southeast. Um, and it is, uh, it's a, it's a big one too, right? <laughs> and so what we've got happening on, what, what's making the weather today, um, that can happen a lot when that happens. You can have storms that pop up uh, as the, the cold air and the warm air um, kind of meet. The warm air gets pushed up over the cold air. So this cold front's moving through. And so basically what you, what you end up happening is as, as um, I wish I could use both hands so I could show you guys, but the cold front's gonna move like this and the warm front gets pushed up over it. So right before, right as the cold front's like, like right before it hits, right as it's coming in, that's when you get your warmest temperatures, which seems counter like counterintuitive, right? Like you're like cold front, like why is it the warmest day? You get your warmest temperatures right as the cold front is about to hit and is hitting. Once the cold front moves through, the actual front line moves through, that's when you get the temperature drop because you've got that cold air advection. That's just the flowing, moving horizontal movement of cold air, whatever, cold air advection. It comes, follows it in and your temperatures drop. So yesterday was steaming hot here in Houston and, I, and, I, and most of, a lot of Texas. Today, this morning, right now, steaming hot. Our dew point is Last time I checked, the dew point in Houston was 74. That's actually not necessarily a good thing if there's uh, too much moisture in there and we get we get a lot of like that low cloud coverage. Like you you need some of the you need some some uh, drier areas because that's what's going to cause instability because it allows like there to be more heat things heating up on the ground, which are going to you know whatever. I'm not going to get into all that, so just ignore that. I don't want to confuse anybody. But um, regardless, it is. When you get to 60, your dew point's at a 60%, like, or when you get to a 60 degree dew point, it already feels humid to a lot of people. Um, we're kind of used to that. So for us around 65 starts to feel like kind of heavy. We're at a 74 in Houston. It is humid. It is gross. Our temperature was hotter yesterday than it has been. It still is. It's like that for a lot of Texas. But then tomorrow we're going to have a 10, de 10 degree temperature drop because that cold front's going to hit this evening. So what you're looking for is as these fronts are meeting and the dry air we're, we're talking about winds aloft. That means the winds up high in the sky, not the winds on the surface. We've got a lot of divergence aloft. That means the air is separating. Bloop, bloop, it's going this way, right? So as that happens, you're getting some dry area and basically down below, the atmosphere likes things to be even. So you've got on the surface, you've got convergence starting to happen. Convergence is when things come together. So you've got the, the air is getting pulled and it's pulling up to try to fill the, the, the empty space, you know, empty, it's not technically empty, but you guys know what I mean. The less filled areas above the atmosphere is trying to do that. So the air below starts, it's just flying up in the air, right? So we've got all this convergence down here. We've got divergence aloft. When you have that ahead of a cold front with a cold front system coming in and you get the right amount of moisture, but not too much moisture, you've got like dry spots coming in. You can have things heat up more. These are all things that are just ripe for making stuff happen. And we have all of that happening today. So um, we're looking for some discrete, isolated supercells that could spawn tornadoes. I uh, need to get my, um, my water resistant tennis shoes, which they're not my favorite because they're kind of ugly. They're like black. They do have hot pink on them, which is adorable, but I am going to invest in some. You know what I want? I want the Cloud Flyers. It's by On Own. How do they pronounce it? It's that shoe company. They're kind of expensive, O-N, but they make actually like really good looking and still super amazing um, waterproof or water resistant sneakers. And yes, y'all, like I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys. I like stuff to be cute. Why not? Why not? Why can't it be both ways? Anyway, I need to get my rain jacket. Grayson's getting his stuff. I told him to grab a, uh, an extra set of clothes because um, in case it gets wet, we're both gonna do that. We don't plan on spending the night. I have goat yoga in the morning. That's right, I'm doing goat yoga tomorrow morning. I can't spend the night anywhere. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Not just Smith. <laughs> Hello, Gotham. Hello. Oh. Are we supposed to roll over now? Oh, am I just sitting there flashing everybody for no reason? <laughs> oh, Kristen, I got a friend. Kristen, I got a friend. Oh, you got a baby. Oh, there I am. I got a baby. Hey, goat. So 
that's the plan. That's what's going on, y'all. I know I'm going a mile a minute. By the way, not eating anything yet, not drinking. I get like this with no coffee. This is why I don't drink coffee. People think it's so weird that I don't drink coffee. I don't need to drink coffee. I have natural energy. If you don't drink coffee, your energy is like this naturally. Like you get these natural things. So I'm not a morning person, but once I get up and going, I go. It annoys my best friend. So I know. <laughs> She's always like, oh, uh, why? And I'm like, I don't know. Let's get you some coffee. And then we're going to hit the road and we're just going to drive. We're just going to drive and see where the road takes us. Now, listen to me right now. We're going to have my sixth grader. He's going to be filming. He's going to be looking at the radar. So the footage, the stuff like that happening, it might not be great, but that is what it is. I cannot drive and film at the same time. So dangerous in perfect conditions, let alone conditions where we're going to have wet, rainy roads, possible crazy storms, maybe hail. Also speaking of hail, my car is a 2013. I flipping love my car. I have a car that a lot of storm chasers buy. I have a, a, this like expedition, a Ford expedition. It is the, I have had almost no trouble with that car. It's a 2013 y'all. It is still going strong. Long story short, if it gets a little hail damage, that's okay. I'm okay with that. My car is old. It still works. Not a big deal. So that's the car I'm taking. <laughs> um, that being said, I'm not, that's not, that's not what I'm trying to do, but I'm going to try not to do that. But I just want to tell you guys, it might not be the footage of um, your dreams, but it's going to be what it is. Let's go see. I think this could be exciting. This could be a really exciting day, even without us maybe being, you know, like I said, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just this, like this, this lady who's, you know, loving this stuff and I'm, I'm just pursuing it. Right. That's all I am. Just whatever. But um, I am trying to get more educated in this stuff. Like I said, I've actually gone back to college. It is not cheap. It is not easy. I have four kids. This is very difficult. There are days when I sit there and I'm like, what am I doing? But I love it so much. It is worth every penny. Um, family totally on board. My husband loves it. So he's here today. He's working at home. He His company is fully remote now. And so, um, I mean, I say fully remote. They have to like go and do stuff, but like whatever. So he's home. The girls are home. They're all good. No one else wants to go except for my five-year-old. She's not going to go. <laughs> Multiple reasons for that. <laughs> but honestly, the biggest reason is she's distracting. Like she would distract me and I don't want that going on today. So they're going to stay here. Um, it's all good. Everything's good, right? Yay. I'm excited. Let's go. I'm going to start loading our car up. Hey, Kyle, you want to help me load real quick? Thanks, son. That baseball bag and that pink thing and the tripods. It was lying right on your hat. And hey, if it doesn't look good with the blue, switch to the black shorts. Oh, there's just a disgusting feather with blood on it sitting on our uh, driveway. So that's disgusting. I'm, is that an omen? Oh my gosh, it's gross out here. Oh, holy heck. Actually, it's not. We want it to, uh, if there's a lot, a lot, a lot of moisture, you get too much cloud coverage and it keeps it from, the heat from from getting through and we want it to be less stable. <laughs> Ooh, bless you. Little helicopter. It's like we heard there was a dead bird. You know anything about it? I decided to move everything to the middle seat. Thanks, hon. All right, guys, I'm filming on my uh, G7X Mark III, which I do not really like, but... Oh, we're getting a little tiny bit of drizzle. There's my boy. You ready, boy? Did you find your real Astros hat? Where was it? Yeah, it's just got a little bit of sprinkle. We'll get lunch and we'll decide which direction we're gonna head for sure there. But right now my plan is just to head towards Longview. How are you back already? <laughs> we will, we'll be safe. I love you. Bye Kyle. Love you. Love you. Bye -bye. Hey, have your cell phone where I can bye. actually call you. Bye bye. bye. Ugh, this camera focus is so slow. Yes, I got your phone. You're fine. Just meet me in the car, buddy. You're fine. Bye, Libby. I love you. Everyone's like, please be safe. Look, I already got mud on my car. It's perfect. So look at this beast. Flip and love this car. All right. Trayson, we got our nuggets. We filled up. We're watching Adam Lucio on Facebook. He's amazing. I'll put his link down. I got, my, I got a Happy Meal because I don't eat that much. 
So like, <laughs> that's what I got. We're getting some nuggets. We got ourselves some Coke, real Coke. So that's what we're doing. We're, we're figuring out. Right now, my plan is to head towards Longview. Come on, old laptop. You got one. You got one year left in you. Adam's one of the guys I went storm chasing with. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Buddy, you ready? Let's do this. Look at those. Look at that, right? Look Hard at these to see clouds. Guys. All right, look at that. Wow. So this area we're in is at a, a level Torcon three. Or wait, no, are they? No, we're not to the four party. We're headed to Tyler, which is a four. Four wind threat, four tornado threat. Why did it look like there's like trees in the road? Like just planted in the middle of the road? I hope where we're going there's not as many trees because it'll be hard to see anything. But we'll see. I don't really, I'm not that familiar with that part of Texas. You know what this reminds me of? What? This little forward right here. I saw a video. It wasn't a real tornado, right? Um, but it was a video, right? It had a tornado though. Like it was like, it looked just like this. There's trees, right? Right. Two way, well, like two ways to go. One this way and the other the other way, right? And like they're going this way super fast, right? Because the speed limit's high. Yeah. And there's just a tornado just forms like in front of them. Oh wow. And they gotta like turn around. Why does that sound familiar to me? I feel like I've seen that too, right? It sounds familiar, that scenario. I don't know what we would do here. It's like nothing. Well, I mean, I it's guess not like smoke. Yeah, like making barbecue. They must have had a controlled burn somewhere. Well, it's still 84 degrees, so we are still ahead of everything where we're at. <laughs> oh, we're in school zone. What the heck? School? I don't know, and I don't know if their district has school today, so I'm going to go with the speed limit. Wow, look at that. That's beautiful. This isn't even it yet. This is just ahead of it. Wow. Just already looking cool. That's cool. We're about an hour and a half from the location we want to be at. Yeah. It's just nice. Looking good. Remember when he was saying like a, there's like no warnings yet? Until yeah. It's just like, Grayson said there's, there's what? Like but everything's happening. Probably. Everything's like tornado warned. Not everything, but like Kaufman. Where he's at right now? Yeah. What about ahead of Kaufman? Like like the direction we're headed. Like it's go east of Kaufman. Okay, Don't worry guys, I'm not looking at the camera, so it may not be the best shots. I'm just moving it around. I can't even see Kaufman. Because it's covered by warning stuff? Yeah, I was I was literally like looking it up. Which one are you in? Which app? I'm on the Texas Uh I don't, you know, I'm not familiar enough with their app to know, but if you want to go into that Clima app yeah. or um, one of those, that one, you yeah. can change. Okay, see. Yeah, look, Mom, in five hours, looking for Tyler's. Holy smokes. Okay, try and find it Should be to the left, towards the west. Where are we at right now? Are, are we. We're just tornado watched right now, I think. Yeah, tornado, tornado watch. Oh, oh my goodness, just, <laughs> I looked up where Kaufman was and it just takes me to this. Oh yeah, they're in a bad spot right now. What's in between Kaufman and Tyler? Good, do that. Yeah, so Zoom out 
Barrel City. Hey, do you want to go to go onto Google Maps and see um, how far away we are from Gun Barrel? That's a sentence I just said. You didn't even One have hour to. and 28 minutes away. Oh, so we're actually closer to Tyler yeah. at this point. Okay. okay. Like right where we are with our little car. Zoom in. See where we're at. Just pick a town kind of strip a little bit ahead of us. Texas and also uh, for uh, portions of Oklahoma that's uh, Choctaw and Pushmahata. Okay. Uh, or Pushmataha counties in Oklahoma. Uh, you are under that confirmed uh, tornado uh, warning as well. But please take shelter up here as it, it looks like a uh, probably a very dangerous tornado is on the ground right now. Oh my gosh. Um, we're, be, we're able to see what well, looks like debris in the air, uh, 14,000 feet up. Oh shoot, so that's is, crazy. This is bad. This is um, something that, where that is really bad. in this zone, you need to let them know. Athens, 40 miles. Should we go to Athens? Okay. All right, we're gonna change directions a little bit and head to Athens. 49 minutes from here. Perfect, perfect. Starting to Athens. Okay, now turn Ryan Hall back on so we can pay attention to him. Can you, uh, deep into Oklahoma. Uh, let me see, Fort Smith. Yeah, we'll just look at it from this one. So, as soon as that polygon pops up, we'll, we'll start talking about it. But this is the storm. We're gonna see this tornado move up past Powderly, uh, over the Arthur City area, and then eventually towards Ord, Shoals, Grant. Did we lose him? Yeah, we cell service around here is going to be real sketch. Confirmed tornado on the ground here causing damage, uh, getting ready to cross the um, Red River. Uh, and it looks like this one's going to try again uh, to produce yeah, a tornado. Yeah, Things are only going to go downhill from here as they get closer to Athens and, and Fairfield and stuff. So make sure you guys are ready for that. We, we're still watching a potentially developing tornado go through Mejia right now. Oh my gosh, go Mejia. Uh, Curvin and Streetman. Uh, then we have the one near Mejia Kushikana, is actually two areas closer of to our house than here. we are now. Um, Almost all but confirms that. Wow, another confirmed tornado, Gray. Texas as well. That was, that we're, was we're, 
we're, I'm pretty sure we're tornado warned area right now. I think we are. And then last but not least, we are near Athens, south of it. It's not tornado warned yet, but probably will be soon. All of these storms in this line, this broken line, are producing tornadoes or about to produce a tornado. So everybody needs to get ready. It's, it's, it's tornado time. This is what we were concerned would happen. Uh, and it's happening for uh, places like Fairfield, Athens, Canton. And let's show you that. Okay, we there you go, a big rotational no, area. We are uh, very close to Athens. In Oklahoma. That's uh, producing a tornado warning uh, almost up to Fort Smith. Almost includes the town of Fort Smith. Uh, but uh, outside of that, it includes uh, Brent, Gans, Muldrow, Rolland, and Remy. Y'all, like I said, I'm not looking at what I'm filming. So yeah. hopefully, filming something. That's from uh, meteorologist Andy Hill. Just wanted to chime in. Let's let's go ahead and hear from him. Yeah, Ryan, I shared a picture of the uh, the tornado that's currently on the ground. Or it has been on the ground doing considerable damage near Paris. It looked like that. So um, that is that's something that definitely developed, probably widened, and became more of a wedge tornado. If I had to guess. We. Um, OMG. If they see anything, okay? And of course, you guys can keep up with the storm chasers. This is what we're heading towards, Craig. Well, we're going right towards this. And if you don't, there's a link in the description. Click on Brett Adair's picture there, and you can see his feed. All right, we have another new tornado warning in Oklahoma. Uh, where is that one? Oh my gosh, that is. Can you film that? Mm -hmm. Wow, film behind us. Dang it. Behind Find us? It. Like, I know, I know, I know. It's I'm another about. extension. If, if you probably can't see it because of the trees, of the there's an opening. Because that, that was um, textbook back there. It's coming from that storm. It's okay, it's okay. We can't see it. Oh that no, another dead Paris deer! Tornado. Oh my oh, god. We're gonna go have to be in. so careful driving home tonight. Okay, Riley's gonna go first. There's another. Okay, so. It just says um, like severe uh, weather. It's okay, an active they, event. they said that yeah. Athens, Texas is in an Athen an active event, and we are. On the outskirts of Athens, so we're trying to figure out what's going on. Texas that I, I do want to share with you guys because I know we got a lot of people watching from a lot of different Black places. Wells one. Oh, Blackwell's less worse than we were checking our family up in Oklahoma. Communicate the danger here for Sulphur Springs before we get oh, yeah, into that. Not even ready. Yeah, they're not having any issues. Firm tornado warning for Hopkins Hunt in Rains counties in Texas. Do get to shelter now. We have a new tornado, tornado warning for has been issued. Uh, Choctaw and Pushman Taha counties in Oklahoma. Anderson County, ah! County. Uh, That's us! County, oh my gosh. We're here! There's a tornado warning in the tornado warnings. Burn the curtain. Alright, Gray. This is this is where there this is okay. We are going to when we find a spot, we're gonna stop. There's lots of warnings right now, there's lots of things happening. Because uh, it could be developing. Uh, just just all these trees the makes it so hard to see. That's just what I was worried about. Briefly making contact intermittently with the ground in front of Brad Arnold. That's moving towards Sulphur Springs. Big shelter. This is why. Just moments ago. We made it, buddy, though. We got here. Nice. We made the right call. Uh, I'm sorry. In, in Lamar County, Texas, we had a big tornado come through. We had a very big tornado come through. And you can see here uh, some of the damage. Freestone and Limestone counties in Texas. Uh, lots of news coming in, lots of different uh, things. Oh, dude, it's above us. On, but the oh, the yeah. main thing is, is if you yeah. see your county name, what do you mean, like, come up us? on that screen or scroll through the ticker down below. Oh. You got to. What is now, it? So radar uh, we're kind of focused radar, on like this storm that's approaching Sulphur Springs. Yes, radar so indicated. Again, pretty large area. Someone, area. Someone saw it, pretty yes, exactly, buddy. A tornado was on the ground just moments ago, with a, and, and it looks like there's still a tornado down. Oh. Uh, I just got a... That means there's a tornado. So choppy, it's hard to tell uh, exactly what I saw there, but I'm pretty sure I, there's still a tornado on the ground. Uh, with this storm and it's getting dangerously close. That's with the code. Okay, all right, yeah, so 
This is a cone tornado on the ground right now, moving towards Sulphur Springs. This is, it's one of the highest level warnings um, that they issue, and they only do that uh, whenever we believe that um, a, a, an area is about to be impacted by a, a, a bad tornado. So Hopkins County, get to shelter now. Riley, go ahead. Don't worry, y'all. We are not in Hopkins here. County. I mean, there is a ton of traffic on the road in Sulphur We're Springs. We're in Athens. We're in it. We're here. We made it, dude. So, uh, Brett Adair is in or near okay. Sulphur Springs. We're going to stop at a gas station, but that one that doesn't look so sketchy. <laughs> and we're going to, I'm going to look at the radar myself. Yeah, right. We have reason to believe that there's a pretty broad, so large, the city. Town this is a good spot to stop. To Let's stop here. Shortly. So, again, please contact people. If you know them there, tell them to get to their safe spots immediately. Because we are in our location, Gray, that we want to be in. So let's go park and look at this. All right, y'all. Holy smokes. It is. Want to get the other camera? Careful, though. It's real windy. Tell me if they say anything about where we're at, okay? Oh my lord, I can, like, this wind is crazy. It's all heading that way, so we're gonna head that way. Look at this. <laughs> funny. I like what you're doing. This is funny. Look at that. It's all, wow. It is. Is it actually recording? Yeah, it's recording. I got it. Look behind us too. Turning this little crooked, y'all. Survival shelters. All right, guys. I'm turning that down a little. I'm gonna check out the radar myself. Okay. <laughs> tornado warning. We're about to be hit by all the stuff that's coming. The tornado stuff. Here we are. Mm -hmm. We're right here. Yeah. Let me show you. We're right here. We've got two, two coming right at us. If, if a tornado just randomly forms here, do we just go inside? Yes, we just go run inside. Just got tornado warned. For this place? Yep. yep. Look to the left. Look to the left. We just got... Oh! What is that? Tornado warning. What's emergency alert? There's where it's going to be if it's going to happen. Right there. Good deal, Ryan. I'm actually watching this pretty Holy smokes. Should we go inside? I don't see the tornado at the moment. No, I don't see anything. <laughs> I'm just kind of scared. <laughs> right now. It's really rotating pretty rapidly. Okay. Got this camera. You got Athens that one ready. Or? No. Right, There's not a tornado sure. here. He's going to talk about Athens, so I guarantee you. Sure. You want me to unbuckle? Yeah, you unbuckle. This is the tornado, tornado warning. Is that another one? Take, Take cover, cover immediately. immediately. This is what could be coming for. It's okay. We're okay. Um, yeah, it's right here, though. Oh. Holy crap balls. Grayson, I need my phone. I got it. I got it. Up here. Okay. Uh, on the Sulphur Spring Storm, and we have everybody else on the Athens. Now we're going to start focusing a little bit farther to the south on these storms okay. near Canton this is us. and Athens. I'm Let's hear what really he has to say. About Athens, a, um, a strong storm uh, getting ready to move through there with a, a tornado in it. You see the big broad mesocyclone oh, rotation shoot. there. Uh, near, okay, uh, hold on, hold on. We might, we might actually go take cover, dude. If that tightens up any at all, uh, we could see oh, yeah. another tornado see, come there's down. There's no tornado from right there yet. Another he metropolitan said. area, 
in um, uh, Texas, to, very close to Tyler as well. Uh, Chris Hall is our closest storm chaser to this. Let's hear from him. How's it going, man? We see that you're close to this storm. It's moving towards Athens. It looks pretty concerning on radar. Are you seeing anything uh, that is concerning in real life? Let us know. Head northwest on Texas 19, north and south and Palestine north. Street. Down. It is rain wrapped. We're just ahead of the rotation. Oh, I'm not it's seeing rain anything in the way of a wall cloud or anything yet. Okay. But right. that can change very quick because it is very, very warm and muggy outside right now. Athens. So we'll talk to them as they get closer. And Frank, if you're listening, okay. If we could put, uh, if we could put vents in the number one spot. You keep that going. Uh, that would be great. All right, coming back to the radar here. Um, we're oh, looking at all these storms. Oh my Once gosh. again, we've got to watch the one near Tyler and Jacksonville here as we go forward. And thankfully, we've got uh, a lot of good people, weather analysts. A new tornado watch has been issued on the team that are helping us out with that. And we have a new tornado watch. Look how low that is. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I couldn't see I'm that. Could we? It. Yeah. Tweeting that. Oh, Tyler. Oh, and here's the graphic. Here we go. Look to the left of us. So this tornado watch goes until midnight tonight. And it includes Russellville, Arkansas. It includes Little Rock. It includes Camden, Texarkana, Tyler, Shreveport, Lufkin, all the way down. 3.9, almost 4 million people in the path of these storms. A few tornadoes are likely. Isolated hail up to being the size possible. And scattered wind gusts uh, up to 70. Look at the news. In Oklahoma. And there's, it's yeah, there's a lot of rotation with that storm. It's hard okay. to tell if there's a tornado down up there. All right, Gray. I'm going to leave this right here, buddy, okay? And I'm going to go take yeah, my real camera I'm out there. Sulfur Springs and the Texas hospital in the basement. Will I get hit? I don't think so, but you need to stay there until the water Tell me what they say if they come back to us, okay? I stay in your safe spot uh, for a little while longer. A new tornado warning has been issued. We're up to nine tornado warnings currently in effect. That's uh, that's the most we've had all evening. Still the most impressive, the most concerning, I guess, storm is the one that's coming into Athens. I got us under one of these. You hear that thunder? This is what we're watching right now. Seeing. Got a bunch of people taking cover under stuff. And I know the only people who do that. Alright guys, I hear some thunder, I know there's lightning, but I'm not seeing a bit, so I'm just, I'll be safe, but I just want to take a minute. This is hauling. This storm is hauling. It is really moving fast. Oh my goodness. How you doing, bud? Any news? Nothing new? Huh? Same old, same old? You guys probably can't hear some of that loud bassiness I'm hearing of the thunder. Oh. 
All right, let's go check out the radar. So, we have to look at Chris, Zach, and Vince all uh, converging on it. Yeah, nine tornado warnings currently in effect. So, the radar indicated tornado. That was lightning. Okay, I think we're gonna start moving in a minute because Oh shoot, I need to film this. Holy smokes. All right, you got this? It is moving so fast, so, 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 so fast. All right. I found where they left. They were like, oh wait, we can leave. Okay. Oh, that's what's above us. Yay. All right. Now to take shelter because this is a very uh, concerning looking storm of the same one. This is not our top Oh, is that tornado warning for Athens, Texas? Uh, so let's, let's see okay. where they are. I don't know if I can pull up. Zach's feet right now. I kind of want to go to the left. Because like you can see John. so much oh, better that way, but the storm's moving to the right. Oh, wow. Look at it, Greg. Let's go to the right. You want to go to the right? Yes. Let's go to the right. Until we get like a, a good distance from it. Okay, get out of the rain. Because this would be rain wrapped. This is a, okay, Grayson, I need you to pay attention to if anything comes in. Brandon, Brett, what is that? Okay. All right, yeah, so he's frozen. Every time these guys get close to a tornado, oh my gosh. The, the cell signal goes out. I mean, it, we might have to pull over. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. But uh, Vince is still uh, transmitting beautifully, and he's just he's oh, right that's behind Zach. Uh, so let's see if we can't pop him. Shoot! Ah, what's hey, Vince, we got you pulled up. Um, uh, Zach's a little bit in front of you, and he's saying that uh, he's seeing a wall cloud. Um, however, oh, I can't see it. There's right debris. We got you pulled up. We're looking at your screen. I can't see anything, and there is... Holy crap, it's there. We're pulling in here. Okay, maybe we should go on that. Maybe we should go on that. So everything you're seeing is delayed up to what it's going to be able to produce. But what you're looking at on the screen right now, if if it's just to the right of the road over the yellow sign there, that's the wall cloud there off to the right. So definitely a massive wall cloud. So it needs to be watched closely. Okay. All right. Thank you, Vince. So these guys are right under the rotation. It's not a tornado, right honey. We're just getting the, out of the uh, rain. Oh. Area, uh, of the storm here at Athens. None of them are seeing a tornado, so that's good. That's a nice. That's nice. good. All clown? Yeah. Yeah. We stay right here. Uh, 
Mid City, Texas. These tornado sirens are going off. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. We're good. We're good. We are good right here. All right. Oh, shoot. Nope. Okay. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. I just don't want to drive into it. You see what I mean, son? Okay, come on. Let's go find a shelter. Okay, so left or right? Yeah, we're gonna just go to where there's where there's nothing happening right where we we're at, buddy. So we are safe here, and I'm gonna keep us safe by going to. Let's Pardon. see, what is near us? Where are sirens going off? As a precaution, they would go off where we lived, Grayson. All right, let's go. Okay, there is an exit on up ahead, so we're gonna go to that. Okay, okay. let's go. Here, can you turn um, the weather stuff back on? You'll be in charge of that, okay? All right, I'm looking. I just want to pay attention to where we're going. If those storm chasers are still there, it's safe because they don't stay where they're still. All right, I got the light. Excuse me, everybody. Okay. All right, dude. All right. All right. It's no big deal. Okay? You doing okay, buddy? Okay. <laughs> it is cold. It's so cold. All right, y'all. We went into the gas station. We are back out of the gas station. We are wet. That's okay. You can tell you're wet when like this. Look. <laughs> oh, look, look, look. This party, this part of my shirt, it's like not made of this print material. It like sort of soaks through. <laughs> Aren't you glad I tell you wear that shirt because it'll dry faster? Yeah, I know. But look, see, like, I can it tell. Straight up appears on. I know. Head. So Grayson got, got it was a little dicey there for a minute, wasn't it, buddy? Yeah. That's how it is, though. But see, I told you, I had you. I got you. It does look yeah, real no, wicked out. Mom, you, know what it, you know what it felt like? What? Because as yeah. you can see now, it's much worse than the left. Yeah. But it felt like it was coming from the right because there's like Because it's and Well, it's rotation. There's rotation in it. So tiny of us coming from both ways. But we were okay. The front part's moving from the left. But, or I guess we should say the west. Oh. Okay. So oh. we're going to. I love that it's super dark over there. If you look over there, there's a tiny. Oh, there's blue. <laughs> There's blue up there. Oh my gosh, there is. That's so weird. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Okay. Holy smoke balls. But over here, that looks wicked. That looks that looks so wicked. Okay, let's get some gas. All right, Grayson and I made the decision to start heading home because we're trying to meet, beat the next line of storms because our location back around Houston is still at a two and it's not even there yet. So we're gonna try to beat that home. But I also don't want us to get, there's another, a whole other little line coming through and uh, <laughs> Athens is about to get hit again in about 30 minutes or less and it looks real wicked. So we're just gonna drive carefully and play it by ear. All right, we're back where we were first when we first came into town. Remember that spot, Grayson? Yeah. Golly, look at it. I said golly. I really am keeping this PG, aren't I, y'all? You're welcome. Just be for a little bit and then it 
should clear up enough for us to get home in between this storm and the, this, this little pop-up storms and the ones behind it. Oh, were you recording for that? <laughs> wow. I missed that. But you saw the bright flash though. Yeah. Oh, look, right? Well, it's starting to clear. We're getting out of it a little. Nice. Oh yeah, there's cars. That's good. Yeah, I can you see them should... again. You couldn't see them. They were there, but I couldn't see them. So I was saying, look at the clouds. Oh, he's coming. Oh, Dad's calling. Okay, just stop. Uh -huh. And hail on their way. Um, hail. wait, Grayson, what's that? I don't know. Tell Daddy we're gonna call him back. Okay, we're gonna call you back. Oh my God. Holy crap. What is the radar doing? It's coming to us. Let me see. Here we go. Okay guys, is that is coming down, huh? Yeah, it's coming to us. And down. Are, what 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 did the radar say, Grayson? I don't know. Gotta go. Grayson, I, I, after after a second, I need you to check the radars and I need you to turn Ryan Hall back on, okay? Sure. Oh, okay, I see why, look. Oh, wow, yep, it's happening. You have to go. It's okay, buddy, it's okay, we're fine, we're fine. We can literally see that we're fine, Grayson. You can okay. see it. It's right there, though, it's like crossing the street. Like, I know. No, but honey, look, there is no tornado. And we want it to cross us. We want it to go away from it. Uh, emergency alert, tornado warrant. Oh, well, crap. Mommy's gonna drive really carefully, okay? Okay. Don't worry, buddy. These other storm chasers around us would not be stopped if they really thought they were about to get hit by a tornado. They don't do that, they're not dumb, okay? Yeah. That's crazy. I knew it did not look like it was over. Ugh, and of course the rain's getting worse again. Film ahead when the trees are there, and then you can turn to the side. Yeah, that's those those couple of people back there were waiting to see if it was going to drop down. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here's the clearing. Oh wow! Yeah, that was 100% stuff trying to trying to drop down right there, Greg. Okay. Grace, it looked to the left of us. I know. I see. And right behind us, it's behind us. Oh shoot, look, look, do you see that? Oh can you God. film it? Is it possible to film that? Yeah, I can see. Oh, okay, yeah, we're getting like multiple tornado warning alerts. But we're driving out of it. <laughs> I know you It's can super see it. dark. I just wanna see if the camera can see it between that is, the trees. Why is, that's so scary. All right, now that we're coming in the clearing, try to film that, because oh. th that was really crazy. Oh, phew. Oh. Hopefully the rain means the deer aren't out. Yeah. Wow, that is, it's so dark. Right it's there. so bad. Can you see the outline of it still? Yeah. The outline of that where that tornado was, or the twister was trying to pop down? Uh, no, it's like blocked by the... can't see it? Yeah. Dang it. Oh my gosh. That was crazy. Here, look, come up here. Well, although now nothing's happening up here. I'll pause, you want me to now. pause recording? No, 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 it's okay. Keep recording for just a few more minutes in case we can see a little bit more behind, like to the side. Here, you know what, hand it to me. I just won't look, but I can hold it film because it's not raining now. I'll just hold it this way. Wait, I say that. I'll tell you if you're filming very well. I don't think it can see anything. It's like fogging behind us. Yeah, you can't see anything. Yeah, we're just like dodging it practically. It's it's this way, apparently, according to this. Yeah, it's 7 p.m. This is where we're going to be, so I think we pass it pretty easily. Okay. So we're pretty, we're pretty much in the clear. Okay. Well, that was crazy. Oh, is that lightning? Here it goes again. Jeez, crazy. That was messed up. Yeah. That was real messed up. I mean, very cool, but messed up. What do you mean messed I up? I would have, just because it was so, like, right there, I would have totally stayed a little longer to look, but I know you were nervous. I totally get that. 
looks like a literally like I know. probably a tornado. I know. It was trying. It was 100% trying. That's trying. I know. They're all. It's all of these storms are, are can literally make a tornado. They all can make a tornado. These are all turn tornado makers. We're still in a, a a four, Grayson. We're still in a tornado four threat right here. I know. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. The, ah, the lightning to the left of us. Joke is to the right. Here we are, stuck in the middle so weird that it's like looks like that that way yeah so that way i know i'm sure yeah. and then to the to the to the east of us i mean yeah to the east of us it's hell and to the right of us it's like yay for a minute although there's more that way again i know look like this way it's normal yet hell and then you have multiple foggy tornadoes behind us this is beautiful <laughs> All right, you want to call Dad back so he's not freaking out? Okay. Gee. Grayson Hale. That's you. Uh, Grayson. What? Buddy, I think we should have stayed in Athens. This seems real dumb that we're driving this way. How are they not going to answer the phone when we were just talking to them? Look at how low that is. I, I, I know. Uh, 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 <laughs> it's a <mesocycling>. like <laughs> It is absolutely 100% is that. Yeah. Gosh darn it. How bright do you have my phone on? Jeez, 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 jeez. This is crazy. This guy behind me is like so annoying. What? what? I don't know. I think he's literally sticking with me because he's nervous. It's it's okay. He's not doing anything wrong. He's just like kind of like. Oh, of course it's not. Of course it doesn't cross the road. It just stops. Turn left onto Pine Top. What? No. Oh, it's supposed to be giving us old directions. <sighs> what? What's that, that pass? What, 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 with the what, what? With the what, Grayson? You were all like, let's go. Now we drove us right into it, Grayson. <laughs> you drove us right into it. Pass me, buddy, just pass me. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, okay. Now that guy's finally passing me. Oh, no, that's the tornado chaser guy. That's not the guy that's been with us. Uh... So that's the tornado chaser guy, and look, he's rushing somewhere. As long as he's not rushing away from some terrifying tornado, we're good. He's rushing. He's like, it's it this way. Follow me. We're like, buddy, we're just trying to get away from it at this point. We have given up. This is crazy. I sure hope it doesn't decide. I sure hope it decides if it has to make a tornado, it's over there and not over right here. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry if I'm not getting the best footage, but Grayson's filming with the other camera, and that footage should be better, because I gotta drive. So I gotta priority drive. <sighs> drive priority. It Plus it's dark, dark, and darker behind us. I know. Is it is I it's can't like, even see behind us. I literally can't even see. Wow. What, what, what? With the what what? My with the goodness. what, Grayson? You were all like, let's go! Now we drove us right into it, Grayson. <laughs> It drove us right into it. Well, after Pass this, is like completely random cloud does not just oh, wow. randomly come over. Oh, wow. Okay. Now that guy's finally well, passing me. Now it's hell. Oh, no. That's the tornado chaser guy. That's not the guy that's been with us. Uh, I know. It's, so that's it's the hell. tornado chaser guy. And look, he's rushing somewhere. As long as he's not rushing away from some terrifying tornado, we're good. He's rushing. He's like, it's it this way. Follow me. We're like, buddy, we're just trying to get away from it at this point. We have given up. This is crazy. I sure hope it doesn't decide. I sure hope it decides if it has to make a tornado, it's over there and not randomly <laughs> here. And guys, I'm sorry if I'm not getting the best footage, but Grayson's filming with the other camera. And that footage should be better because I gotta drive. I gotta priority drive. <sighs> priority. It Pleasant. is dark dark and darker behind us i know is it is, is i can't it? even see behind us i literally can't even see wow here do you want to try it with my phone film with my phone for a second it artificially brightens things okay. it's horizontal honey oh huh. now, now see if you can film any behind us or up there or heck what are we doing we could do that too oh now you can oh okay all right that's just okay that's him huh. look at the it's the it's the 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 layers, the, the like the difference between one crowd and another. And it's like over there, you got darkness, 
back there you got darkness and over here it's darkness. it's pretty normal is that the sun the sun's, sun's literally changing. setting over there it's literally setting like you can see the sunset imagine being able to see a tornado in the sunset at the same oh, time this camera sucks I need my good camera oh no just film with the phone from now on i think oh. we're at the phone part we're at film with phone part now see how much better that's looking i know Imagine being able to see the sunset and a tornado at the same time. I mean, it's happened. Being for Creek Creek, at least it's not raining to where I can't see what I'm doing. I can't drive like a normal person. Okay, we're going to be turning on to North Mallard Street. I don't even know where we're at, Grayson. I could not tell you where we were at if you paid me. Oh, oh is, is it normal? Nope. Hold on, we're going to about to clear a little bit of the trees right here and then you can film. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, would you look at that? Oh my goodness, there's the moon. Can it's uh, is it what does it look like out of that window back there? <laughs> out of that window back there, like the Elizabeth's window. Elizabeth's window, oh, Libby's window. Um, it's still like, well, no, it's the trees that that's the reason. It's it's just like the same color, yeah, as over here. <laughs> the trees are in the way. It looks it's really cool, y'all, but it's hard to see it. It really is the stuff that we managed to get through. Ooh, if you can feel, look at that right there. It's pretty over there. Nice. Alright guys, it's dark, but we just got tornado warned again. So I'm filming with this camera. It's dark. I know you can't see, but you can hear because we're using the other cameras. So we're trying to figure out where are we? We're literally in like orange. Yeah, we just got tornado warned, so <sighs> no wonder that storm chaser guy was rushing ahead. He knew something we didn't. Probably, I don't know, Grace. Yeah, I mean, maybe. No, that cloud's a little too high up oh, in the atmosphere. Oh, it's definitely this one. It's above us? It's like that. Big. Okay, Probably. okay. That's like super. Yeah, they have a tornado warning. There's circulation on the radar with this stuff. Yeah, like, look, like, how's our tornado warning? <laughs> look where we well, are. here, go to the weather.com app and uh, just have it do It'll It'll do our location automatically wherever we're at. I See? Palestine. We're back in Palestine. We're in Palestine? We're in tornado warning. Tornado watch? Yeah, okay, so we just drove straight through whatever part was warned. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if we can catch some lightning. The lightning that's happening is in it's big old lightning bolts. There's the moon.
there's something weird that's happening. On one map it says we're on a path that leads to a red zone, and on the other map it says there's literally nothing in front of us. So that's cool. It's just, it's just dark. When we were driving to Athens, uh, we passed through a tiny, like, town. 19... 50s, like super old town called. Oh, cute now. Yeah, called Trinity, right? Uh, we specifically made note of a little, like a, a little tiny, like a school. tiny little school that was like a, connected to a Baptist church, right? Right. Anyways, though, uh, and we were just driving back home, and they were talking about it, and they said that that same part had taken a uh, damage from a tornado. And we were that there. That same Baptist church. That's where how we drove there and coming back home. But it was so dark, I didn't really notice coming back home. So did it hit after? It hit th that. That was recent, right? Uh, yeah. So holy smokes, Grayson. That could have been, you know, that was probably during some of that time when we were seeing all that bad stuff. And we were like, ah, boy, sad. Hope no one was hurt. And then it's really, really, it's, it's never gonna show up on camera, but it is. So foggy, not not like incredibly, not like like such a low. We can see point. it. No, you can see it's, it. It's hazy. You can definitely see oh, it. Oh yeah, you can see it. It's hazy and it's just like I don't know. The area we're in right now, they're at a Torcon three. Um, so eventually, they're they're thinking something bad. But like I said, we're we're literally driving home and we're at a Torcon two. So it's like it's and that part's we're just we're, we should beat it. We should be home, and so we should be at home in a safe, our safe house with the storm pits, in theory. I just do not want to be driving in it, so I think we're good. We're an hour away. All right, y'all, we made it home. So it's 9.58. Uh, our storms are going to come at around 11, 11.30. They probably will not be tornadic, even though we still are, have our like little tornado two level. Um, but they're still severe listed, so we'll see. But anyway, oh my gosh, y'all, I'm so sore. I don't know why. Like, I don't normally get sore driving, but I think I was, like, maybe tense a lot. <laughs> I think that's what happened. Well, anyway, uh, obviously, because our storms haven't hit, I mean, obviously, like, uh, we eat. are still very humid here. Very humid. Still humid and... Uh, still warm. I mean, it's 10 o'clock at night and it's still 80 degrees. Kind of want to go for a walk just to like stretch out my legs and like, my hips and stuff before the rain comes. It obviously has already rained here some, but it, this was just all the rain from all that. I mean, you guys saw how much coverage we had from this warm front. Holy smokes. So it was a lot. So of course we got they got they obviously got some rain here. But anyway, I'll keep filming when the storm comes. Maybe get a cool lightning show or something. Who knows? Hmm. That wind kind of starting to pick up too. Back to my house I go. I gotta get everything unpacked. I've got like you know, tripods and our raincoats and everything else. I gotta bring that inside really quick. I just took my hair and my ponytail and it is crazy remember we got rained on I came outside because in like the 30 minutes since I last talked to y'all it looked like some of the severity of the little thunderstorm that was going to hit us was dissipating and it just wasn't going to be that, that interesting and so I was like okay cool I'm going to go to bed also I, I probably I, I need to eat something I've literally had three chicken nuggets and uh, half a cup of coke today like like literally a couple of sips of coke like I need water I need food <laughs> but I'm just like so tired I'm not hungry but I need to at least drink some water so anyway um but so I was like okay that's cool but then I started getting this stuff where they were like oh never mind it's gonna be kind of intense for a few minutes because the storm's moving so fast and then I'm getting that like like all these lightning alerts but I don't see any lightning but I've been getting them like non-stop so I'm like, you know, the second I relax, something cool is going to happen. <laughs> and I'm going to 
want to film it. Okay, look at the speed. Use the tree as a reference so you can have like kind of a relative. Watch. I know it's slightly blurry, y'all. It is what it is. Oh, there was some lightning. Okay. You see how fast are those? I mean, those clouds are booking it. Jeez. So I'm probably gonna just go relax unless something really cool happens. Because if you remember, I've got goat yoga in the morning. Because apparently this is a normal life that I lead. Where I go <laughs> spend... Did you guys hear that? The wind is howling. It's coming through the, it's blowing through the culvert. That's creepy. That is a creepy sound. And no, not a tornado sound. Just really creepy wind sound. It was literally like howling. I'm on, I'm on the wrong, my stupid phone camera, so I don't even know if the audio will pick up. Anyway, um, yeah, so apparently I leave this life. I go chase some storms, and uh, then I do goat yoga. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. Um, but yeah, thanks for coming along with us today, guys. Like I said, uh, if there's more to this vlog, it'll be because something fun happened, so there probably won't be. But what a day, right, y'all? And oh my gosh, seriously, um, I don't know who's doing what, but I know whatever happened here in Texas today was not good. We are just now starting to hear some of the stories and it's just really bad. So if you want to uh, see if you can donate or if you want to help in any way, because I, I just I just know they said this was historic today, like the outbreaks were historic. And so, whew, I don't know, y'all. I just I feel so bad for those people. I don't know. I'm just hoping so far. I've only heard that there was one death anywhere. And hopefully that's all there is because that's already sad enough. But I do know that people were injured. People lost their entire homes. It just was not good. You know, it's sad. So, um, you know, the more the more we get out there and the more we learn about these storms and the more we can like get people who are in charge of things to understand that it is really important that you get this information out to people. Think about those people. Thank you guys for following along with us today. Uh, Grayson got a little nervous, but then he got super excited. Like he kept like laughing. He was like, that was crazy. And so I know that was really good. Um, um, it was a good little intro. Uh, it could have been a lot crazier. If it had been just me, y'all, I would have gone and done a lot more, but I just was not going to do that with my son. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> but it was still really exciting, really exciting. So anyway, all right, y'all, um, I will talk to everyone later. Thanks for watching. Like I said, think about those people. Um, do what you can if you can't help. Yeah, be weather aware, be safe out there, everybody, and I'll talk to everyone in the next one, okay? Night, guys. It got really loud, the wind, didn't it, Kyle? Mm -hmm. It popped open our interior garage door because the wind was strong. Oh my gosh, look at that weird color, Kyle. Cool, cool. That's not creepy or anything. Oh, you feel the cool? You feel the cold finally? You feel that cold air? There's the misty rain. I can't hear you. I said, you see the wind, you can see the wind moving. Look, look Oh yeah, from the mist. You hear that creepy wind sound. Whew. Oh my gosh, actually chill in the air. I wish you guys could hear it. It's literally like, like that. It's creepy. Let's go look out front. <laughs> it's like, turn back. But I live here. What do I do if I live here? We're trying to get our Halloween decorations all put away, y'all. It's not going great. <laughs> I like how Jones is like, can I go see? Should we let him see? Well, no one's out there? No. Well, he goes running around out of there. Of course he will. He'll come right back no, like he, he always does no, for me. Just let him, let him stay Every here. time. Totally fine. He doesn't listen to Kyle very well, y'all. He listens to his mama. Ooh, it's drizzling. And creepy rain. I mean, creepy wind. Ah, it's that's cold rain.
That was warm rain earlier, so yeah, it's happening. It's happening. 